the best morning that I've had in so long. It was so peaceful. I'm just like living my soft girl life. Like I said, the girls left. It feels weird. You know, my home was so full of life just a few days ago like Sehan left just before the girls to not have anyone just feels super weird and I'm trying to not let it make me feel sad that's kind of what's really important about this like I don't want to get into a little sad bubble and miss my friends and everything I did a little recording for TikTok made myself feel a little bit pretty and now we're gonna go to a cafe and do a little bit of YouTube editing I don't think I even spoke about my birthday like fully I don't think I even really spoke in the past two weeks to you guys i got the cutest birthday present from my mom so i was handing her for her recipes i was like mom like i need to start to make kurdish food like probably like i know how to make basics but i want to know how to make biryani maklubi i really want to learn how to make dolma which we call ikrah that's like the final boss level for me is to make dolma and there's nothing better than my mom's dolma i know everybody's biased but she truly does have the best. She gave me this super cute book and it's got loads of recipes in here. Like we've got Afgo Patata, Biryani. Bless my sister, she's such a cute pie. She wrote it all out whilst my mom was kind of giving her the details because one thing about Kurdish moms, I'd be like, you know, just put enough oil until it feels right. And you're like, what does that mean? It's super detailed and it's just the cutest gift ever. And then she wrote in the beginning of it, hey mommy, first of all, happiest birthday to you. Wish you all the best, doy guri. I want to send you this book as your birthday present because I thought you might miss your mama's food i hope you love the recipes in this book love you always mama did i cry when i read that 100 and then she got me this really cute apron as well look how cute this apron is i feel like such a little chef i need to this week actually bring out the recipe book and make some kurdish food and then my dad's present didn't arrive in time for the girls to bring with them and they wouldn't tell me what it is but i think it's like a cute little message on like a light the girls got everybody to like make me a little birthday video and it was both the funniest and sweetest video ever it just shows everybody's personality my dad's part of the video was by far the funniest but when it got to my aunt and my mum's part i just burst out crying me and both the girls were crying our eyes out and we were watching this with sehen and he was dying of laughter and this just goes to show you the difference in our emotions. I have to just say the biggest thank you to my husband because guys, he's honestly just the sweetest soul. Like he flew out my sister and my best friend for my birthday because he knew how lonely I was and how sad I was. And honestly, the girls weren't gonna come because they obviously have work and they have things to do when they just came back from Kurdistan and everything. But he literally hounded them and pestered them and told them I'm going to be so upset with you if you don't come. I just feel so blessed with every Everybody in my life like I have to say alhamdulillah because the one thing that I am so rich in is love whether that's from friends family you guys I just feel so grateful for that and it was probably the best birthday that I've ever had I think my makeup came out so cute today this is a no foundation makeup look and honestly I think the Sun has been doing a lot for my skin Dubai how have I just come home to this please they literally trust everybody so much that they just put our entire laundry <laughs> outside our door hey guys I'm just doing a really quick retouch up because me and the hubby are going for a little date night I'm not even sure what we're gonna do because he's not really told me what we're gonna do he was like we're gonna like do an activity and go eat somewhere but he's not told me where we're going I'm really excited to just have some time just us two because we've really not had that for a while because everybody's been here my hair's being so weird recently it feels like it's so lifeless right anyway I'm just gonna quickly pack my bag and then head out because we do not want to be late
where did you say we're going for our activity? Uh, ice skating. This man really said, let's go ice skating when I look like this. And usually I bring a pair of fluffy socks, which you didn't inform me about. Yeah, well, I don't think we're gonna go ice skating anymore. We might just go to like cinema. Watch Equalizer. He wants to watch Equalizer. I wanna watch Saw. I think he's a little bit too scared. No. He's gonna be cuddling me a bit tired. The rating, during of, the the night. rating of Equalizer is They're better. practically the same. He's too scared. Just admit it. Just, we'll watch it. Just, just admit it. I'm scared. Can I try that one also, please? Wow. Do you know what that tastes like, guys? It tastes like the inside of a Kinder Bueno. Can I get the Nutella and the dark chocolate, please? That looks delicious. Tastes good. Wow, guys, if you come here in Emirates Mall, go to this place called Massimo's Gelato. Get the Nutella, it's like Cremo Nutella, something like that. Wow. The closest thing to the inside of a Kinder Bueno. We're actually trying to kill time right now because our movie doesn't start until 11 and we got here at 10. I don't know how we're gonna get through this movie, but I'm already so tired. Confession. The last time I vlogged, I think was like four days ago. How is this a weekly vlog? I don't know. The reason that I've not been vlogging is because I've been doing nothing. When I say nothing, I have been over here on this part of the sofa. And the reason that I've been doing nothing for the past four days is because I've been home alone and I've just been feeling, I don't know, not down, just, you know, a bit lonely, I would say. Basically, Ahmed is on a work trip right now. He has been for the past four days. Triple A have partnered with a car company and they're doing like this car rally that they've sponsored. Honestly, do I even really fully understand what they're doing? No. They're essentially just driving around the Emirates with supercars. Why that's a thing? I don't know. Like, what do, what do they gain from this? I don't get it. It's my first time that I've been alone in the apartment. You know, it's felt really weird because like a week ago, the house was just so full of life and I would walk into the living room. There was just so much energy and I never felt alone, obviously. Like if anything, I just felt like I had the most company ever. And now I wake up to an empty home and it's just me. And it's been so sad, guys. Like I've really tried to be an independent woman, you know, like just, it's okay, like be by yourself but i've never really had this because prior to this i obviously lived with my sister Ruja, so like i would never be alone if i needed company i would just go into their rooms i felt so lonely these past few days but i got up today and i was like enough is enough time to stop feeling sorry for myself and actually do something with my day i do love my alone time like trust me i love being alone but obviously i just miss having human interaction i've been facetiming my family so much i was literally on facetime to my family for like an hour and a half yesterday to the point where they were like do you want us to just prop you here and you just watch this movie with us that's so sad but it's okay because today we're gonna be on our independent girl journey get our shit together record some ads i have to clean my beauty room my beauty room guys i'm not gonna lie it's a mess don't get it twisted i'm not a lazy slob that lives in mess you guys know me probably well by now i can't live in chaos but i've not been doing anything with my beauty room like i've not been recording anything i've just completely ignored that room honestly i just focus on cleaning the home like it's more important to me for ahmed to come home to a clean home than it is for me to prioritize my beauty room. I know that sounds really selfless of me, but it's quite a selfish thing because I just get so much joy out of seeing him just be comfortable in the home. Oh my God, guys, you know what it is? October is my favorite month. Like I love October, especially the last October was, it was just the best month for me. If you guys go into my TikTok and look at the content that I was posting last October, I was watching it back. Like I'm so proud of myself because I really put in effort and I've just been really unmotivated and slacking. It's just not felt like my usual October. I love watching like spooky films, but obviously I'm home alone and I get scared at night. 
with watching these horror movies we were watching a lot of horror films when the girls were here that is so like in my brain and i'm like scared at night so so i can't even like watch spooky things right now which is so sad like i don't feel spooky i want to feel spooky so ahmed's actually coming back tonight which i'm so excited for i've been missing him so much so it'll be so nice to not be sleeping alone tonight i literally like double lock my door and then i double lock my bedroom door i get so paranoid even though dubai i know it's so safe it's like least place in the world to be scared so even though he's back tonight he's off again when will it ever end we only have tomorrow together and then he's gonna go off with triple a again and they're gonna go to paris and some other places like they're gonna do something with ap the brand and i'm gonna be all by myself again and i really don't want to do it like i'm such a homebody i will literally just stay at home a part of me just doesn't have effort like i would rather just be at home but then i'm like oh i'm lonely it's like bitch go make friends then go do things are you guys ready to see no judgment please don't judge me this is what my room looks like it's so bad guys like why is there stuff absolutely everywhere we need to get to work guys i completely forgot to say look who i'm repping this is a triple a t-shirt they made these t-shirts for the car rally how cool is the bar i did tell him to get me a baggy t-shirt because i don't really wear fitted t-shirts like this i mean to be honest i'm just gonna wear this as a pj anyway <laughs> you have no idea how long it took me to clean this beauty room you can literally see that it's dark outside now but look how clean she is i even got carried away and tried to do some patterns on my rug which honestly was terrible <laughs> i don't know what i was thinking but it's so much cleaner now like everything looks so cute and organized except for this little corner which is the pr packages that i've got so it started off with me cleaning and as you guys saw i was putting away my makeup and then as i was putting it away in these big drawers in the packs unit i was just thinking like they don't need to be in these drawers like there's so much space that it's actually inconvenient for it to be in those drawers so i just started completely tearing my beauty room apart and rearranged everything so instead i put all of my makeup in this little desk because it just makes so much more sense like they fit so much better in here and it's literally where i do my makeup like it makes sense why didn't i do this from the beginning why am i still using this dusty little bench i don't know to be honest guys i just got carried away when the girls were here and just put everything my whole life on pause and i've been meaning to get a chair and that's what i'm literally gonna go and do get a chair order one the only thing that kind of feels finished is my little display i still don't know what to put here if you guys have suggestions please let me know should i put like cute little potted plants up there like is that gonna ruin the aesthetics like what do i put up here and is this ugly here this is my youtube plaque and usually this camera goes over here so it looks nice and symmetrical but i don't know is that ugly I, I really don't know give me suggestions please i just got a call from ahmed and he's gonna get ready and go to a yacht party so this yacht party is part of this whole car rally thing that they're doing and essentially he's gonna go with his friend and sell watches so he's like do you want to come along but at the same time i do have things i need to do and i would much rather not go but i mean i guess it would be fun and i've been saying that i've been stuck at home and i want things to do so i guess this would be something fun to do on another note though i just got a really big parcel from H&M. Look at the size of these parcels, please. I did quite a lot of shopping. I literally spent the entire of yesterday online shopping. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, I was on the phone to my mom and she's like, what did you do yesterday? I was like, nothing. She's like, what did you do today? I was like, honestly, like, I, I've, I've been shopping and she's like, oh, that's nice. Like, did you go out and shop? I was like, no, online. She thinks I'm such a loser. But yeah, I've been doing a lot of shopping because I booked something really exciting and I'm not gonna give it away yet. We're going on a really exciting trip. Like literally the most excited I've been for a trip and it's not our honeymoon. <laughs> when are we actually gonna go on this honeymoon? I don't know. But it's kind of a secret and you guys will know more about it. But a little hint, just a little hint. The clothes that I've bought are mainly like warm clothes i don't know if you guys can guess where we're going i mean to be honest literally almost everywhere else in the world right now is cold so it could be anywhere but i'm so excited for this trip i'm so excited for the vlog that's gonna come from it my husband's home and look at what we got guys we got hot dogs that looks delicious a cheese beef hot dog that's good 
I took a very small bite though. <laughs> we have to be super quick because I need to quickly go do my makeup. A quick little turn around. I think I did my makeup in literally 20 minutes and I recorded an ad. We're here at the harbour. I've not been here before. You know what? I'm glad I came just purely because it's nice to get out of the house, one. Two, it's nice to spend time with my husband. And three, it's nice to have new experiences. It's actually vibes. Ooh, this is nice. This is a fat yacht. Yeah, it's a very big yacht. Okay, we're going downstairs. I'm gonna do a little exploring. Oh, they've got bedrooms down here. Yeah, it's also from Chipotle. Whilst we're here, we might as well do a little outfit of the day. So I've just got on this top from Zara. These pants are from COS and then I'm rocking my new little bag. What am I looking at? Here's a master bedroom. Oh, there's a master bedroom. This is cute. On a yacht? That's pretty sick. Yeah, the, you know what? They actually have a lot of room on this yacht. It's gonna be so much fun. I could have been watching American Horror Story, but here I am. Watching watch sales. It's so thrilling. This is so pretty. Look at the moon. That is very nice. The food looks sensational. You know what, at least there's some delicious food for me to eat. <laughs> How are we doing? So the last time you guys saw me, obviously Ahmed came back and just as quickly as he came, he left. He actually left yesterday morning at like 6 a.m. And I planned to have a really productive day yesterday, which just didn't happen. I just sat and binge watched this show called Bodies on Netflix. It was really good, you guys should watch it. But you know, it's so funny because just before he left, so he was gonna go to Paris, Geneva, and then that was it. The boys were planning to actually go to London after that for like three days. But he said he didn't want to go. Like he's like, I don't want to leave you alone by yourself. He feels really bad and guilty when he leaves. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, when he first left, it was really difficult for me. Like I felt so lonely, like I told you guys, I was just being in my sad girl mood. But he made me promise to stop being like that and to stop staying in the home. The thing with me guys, I'm such a homebody. Like if I could just stay home all the time, I genuinely would. But enough is enough and I promised him I would get out of the house and actually do things with my day. So we have a really wholesome day plan today. I'm gonna meet up with Sophia. She's actually waiting downstairs for me so I'm gonna keep this really short and sweet. We're gonna go paint some cute little ceramics. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to do something like this literally since I was in the UK. So we're gonna go do that and then we're gonna go down for dinner. The restaurant we're going to actually kindly invite me down and I think it's Moroccan. So I'm really excited to go try it out. Let's go have a really wholesome day guys. I feel so so much better today like i think i'm kind of getting used to being on my own which might be dangerous for ahmed because maybe i prefer it like this right let's go don't want to keep sophia waiting hi hi you hi. actually took her five minutes thank you very much yeah i was telling her there's like this secret little you little device shortcut yeah look who's on time me no you're not you made yes, me wait 10 minutes listen you. you told me six o'clock and i was ready before six so what i said around no you said i'll be there at six doesn't matter, she's always late, never on time. I was genuinely on time this time though. <laughs> this is so cute! What are we gonna paint? Oh, I think this is like a little money jar. Uh, yeah. Do you wanna paint something like this or do you wanna paint like, like a plate or something? Oh, look how cute this one is! I think I'm it out now. I feel like I should paint a plate, like, or a mug, use it, yeah. Oh, this is so cute. 
Oh, that is a pretty mug. Actually, really useful. Right, and it's a fat mug. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how big these are. These are huge. Okay, guys, um, I think I'm gonna do a bit of this. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's really 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 nice.
tired. I got back at like 11. We went for dinner really late. The Moroccan place, chef's kiss. It was so, so good. And the Moroccan tea. Genuinely, I don't think there's a tea better than Moroccan tea. But yeah, I got back and I was so tired. Like I was shattered and I was like, wow, is this actually how tired I would be if, if I did things with my day? Like if I didn't just sit at home, is this what it feels like? And it was really nice because the day went by really fast. And every day that goes by quicker, the quicker that I see my husband and I miss him so much. I was literally crying. I'm not even joking. At our wedding videos this morning. But you know, I want him to do his thing. Can I just say as well, guys, that I find it absolutely crazy that so many of you guys come and watch my vlogs every week. Like, I just want you guys to know that, that I... Like, it doesn't just go over my head. Honestly, like, being on YouTube is my favorite platform ever. Like, I know I have... A lot more followers on TikTok, on Instagram, like I have a bigger platform. YouTube is just like where my heart is, like truly. I love recording for YouTube. It's the one thing that really feels like it's not work for me. And then I love editing them and then I love watching them back. Like it's my favorite thing and the adrenaline and the thrill that I get from posting a YouTube video. Like I'm so excited to read the comments and I promise I read every single one. I know I, know I don't reply to every single one, but I read every single one and it goes straight into my heart because some of the comments are just so kind and so sweet and I just feel so, so grateful for you all. I just can't believe, you know what? This, this might be my seventh or eighth vlog in a row, which is the most consistent I have ever been on TikTok. I mean, YouTube. That's what it's because i'm enjoying it so much and obviously now there's so many more of you that actually watch my vlogs and tune in and message me and tell me about my vlogs and how much you love them and when's the next vlog and i'm just like okay it's like motivation to keep going you know i had a dm once about my wedding vlog i don't think i ever spoke about it but this girl was so so sweet like i genuinely cried listening to her voice notes that she sent me because it was the first time that I realized that my videos might actually have like an impact on people because I was just like I'm just putting vlogs out like how life-changing can that be but you know it makes sense because there's certain people that I watch on YouTube that I find inspirational or make me feel normal do you know what I mean like like when I started on social media I had this warped perception of what you have to be like to make it on social media I always thought that like you know the people that really make it bigger these people that they have this unattainable life so it makes you want to watch them because you want to live vicariously through them I always thought that that's exactly how I would have to be in order to get people to actually be interested or care about me I realized really quickly through my journey that that is number one not what I wanted to be and number two I could never be like I truly want to be that creator that you guys watch and you're like you know what I really love her life but oh my gosh she is literally the same as me like she's so normal she goes through normal things she's not a perfect person i'm not out here doing amazing within myself every day like i have my moments i feel like this is my platform to be really vulnerable with you guys so that you know that even though i have this lovely life which alhamdulillah for i'm not a perfect person and you might not be a perfect person but whatever you want to get in this life you can get it's like when i get comments like oh i wish i had your life i wish i looked like you I'm like i hate that second comment i hate it so much because i truly believe everybody is beautiful in their own way and it makes me really sad when people say that to me i think people think it's a compliment but it truly isn't but for my point number one like if you want this life you guys can have whatever life that you want and you probably don't even want my life you want your version of whatever you like in my life but i just want you guys to like i want to be the example of like you don't have to be this person that's perfect and that's why they have this great life like i'm not perfect and alhamdulillah i love my life and yeah i just kind of i don't know how we got here how did we get here i need to go to my nail appointment let's go take a look out the window spirit goes up as the rain falls down I've been sitting on the wrong course Keeping it together like I did before Think that I've said this a few times Even with that, has it ever felt right? I swear that this has happened every morning So we've come to Dubai Hills Mall Can I just say, today is such a gloomy day for Dubai Look, it's so cloudy It's my first day ever seeing it like this and it's actually not that hot. It's literally like 20 degrees, I think, which is why I'm in a blazer. Like, we can finally kind of dress a little bit cozy, which I honestly, I prefer. What a gloomy day. This is my favorite thing about Dubai Hills Mall. It's so empty. Such a nice change to the usual chaos. What do we think about this top, guys? I think it's so cute. Like the cutest little knitwear. 
I think I'm gonna get it. I'm in mango right now. Do a little tucking situation. Maybe not. Okay, now we're in Bershka and what do we think about these two pieces? First of all, I'm still trying to decide if I like this. I like the fit of it. I think it's really cute, but am I in love with it? I really like these trousers because when I'm in heels, they're the perfect length and they fit me really well, except for my waist, which literally always happens. I'm just gonna have to get them tailored, but otherwise, I think I'll buy the trousers and leave the top. I really like this style of putting a baggy jumper over like a flowy dress. I think it's so cute. I actually ordered this exact jacket from Zara, but in black, and it was so huge on me, but I really want this coat because, well, it's a coat, not a jacket. It's really cute, but why is it so kind of huge on me? This is an XSS. I can't get any smaller than this. This is the other black jacket that Zara have in stock right now, but you can just feel the difference in the material. Like, I can't believe I was talking up a big game. I'm gonna get a design on my nails and did quite possibly the most basic thing you could do to your nails. Like, it actually doesn't get any more basic than this. And I was this close to doing chrome. And even the lady doing my nails was like, no, like, you just did chrome. Like, do something different. Even though they're not that dramatically different or special, I really like them. They're kind of like pearls. So you might be wondering, what is she about to do? I'm gonna make some ginger turmeric shot. And this is meant to be really good for digestion, for your skin, especially if you have hormonal acne. I was actually just talking to my girl and this whole thing has just been weighing on my heart so heavy, guys. Obviously, everything to do with Palestine at the moment. They're actually currently at a protest in Manchester and I was just so sad like i wish i could be there with them so they like video called me for a little while so i could see and i literally teared up like it's been so difficult to watch this happen it's honestly all i've been thinking about and i've just been like everybody else feeling so much guilt for just living this normal life when there's people out there that are suffering so terribly this really isn't safe you also might be wondering why is she putting the peel in there the peel has a lot of vitamins so don't skip out on the peel i've just been really emotional full stop these days pilates oh my god i completely actually wait before we get into that pilates was so much fun like i really enjoyed it and oh my goodness it was really difficult it was a lot more difficult than i remember it being you know what guys a little funny thing yeah yesterday i might sound like i'm really like i must like this just shows how much of an emotional person that i am yesterday i woke up and you know like i spent some time on tiktok and then when i spend an hour on tiktok in the morning i just feel so slumped and lazy low energy energy and i was like okay i need things for breakfast instead of ordering my groceries which is all i've been doing i was like let me just see what grocery stores i have around and guys there's literally a store that is a two minute walk from my home and it's the viva supermarkets and they're like really affordable supermarkets as well and i just couldn't believe it like wow i really am so stupid like why would i not look at that so i just got out of bed and i went to the supermarket in the morning and i was literally messaging my friends like guys you don't understand like i genuinely feel like i am going to cry in the grocery store because of how happy i am i don't know about you guys but grocery shopping for me is so therapeutic like it is one of my favorite things to do and when i go grocery shopping i don't have my headphones in listening to music like i'm like nothing in my ears i just want to just experience life and like grocery shop like oh my god i probably sound so lame but for me genuinely it is the little things in life we've got our oranges we've got our ginger turmeric is activated by black pepper and turmeric has so much health benefits guys so we're gonna put some black pepper in here too we're gonna add some water to this as well i got these really cute little bottles from amazon i'm not gonna lie i thought they were much like smaller like little like little shot glasses <laughs> Now we add a tablespoon of turmeric and I'm actually going to add in some olive oil. I hope this goes well. Oh no! It went terrible. 
There you have it guys, our ginger turmeric shots, but I'm actually going to save this for tomorrow because the best time to have these is first thing in the morning. So I've just had someone come and do a blood test for me. He's like halfway through doing my blood test and he's saying, you know my girlfriend broke up with me today. And I was like, oh wait, did I hear that right? Like I genuinely was like, he can't possibly be talking to me about his girlfriend. She cheated on me with her driver scandalous i was just trying to tell him listen you need to block her you need to move on let me show you guys my flowers look how pretty my flowers are my darling angel of a husband sent these to me yesterday i think it's time we wrap up this vlog this very weird lonesome vlog promise you guys the next ones are gonna be so much more fun than this we have the trip coming up which i'm so incredibly excited for we can do like a little clothing haul i've got some really cute autumn pieces i hope you guys have somewhat enjoyed this vlog and i will hopefully see you in the next vlog bye